Hello and welcome back to the fruit farm, which is becoming less and less a farm of fruit. <laughs> Not because, uh, well, you know, there's any disease or all the workers have disappeared. <laughs> no, it's because we're removing all the fruit trees. <laughs> but uh, we're replacing it with goodly goodness though. I mean, look at all these rides. I mean, they're nice. They're well colored, uh, well designed in terms of track and all. And um, yeah, it's October year one and we got 900 guests in the park. So I'd say park in the pocket. We're not there yet, but if things continue to go the way they are going, we should have it pretty soon. Now last time we built this and look at that, I oh, mean, it's so fresh, <laughs> we haven't even opened it. So we might as well do that now. And do we have ratings on it? No. I think that this is the farthest up that the boats are, or maybe somewhere over here. So they still have to go all the way over here. So we won't have ratings yet. However, seeing how it's like October this year, I think now wouldn't be such a bad time to start doing a pricing check. The first one that we will do in this park. So let's take a look, Ski. Well, these rides over here, I mean, this train ride, damn man, the fruity train is quite good and it's still losing gas. This one though doesn't. So yeah, it did make us quite a nice amount of monies, but it's time to adjust it. So we'll do that, because, you know, I want to build good parks. And good parks have good pricing. Uh, Alright, so this miniature golf is nicely priced. This there, you know, the Blackberry <laughs> Smart Galoper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that needs its pricing adjusted as well. Uh, I think 50 cents will do, though. So, let's see. Alright, um, so far, so good. I'm looking at the queues and they all seem to be filled up nicely with guests. Yeah, they are indeed, in fact. Good, well then, um, so let's get the view back to normal. Well, actually, while we're at it, we might as well just do a vandalism check. I don't think we'll have all that much of vandalism. I mean, it just seems that vandalism only occurs once the park's getting older, you know? But since this park is really young, even though it's developing like crazy, uh, we're giving it growth hormones. <laughs> no, not really. Um, but yeah, we are growing quite fast, and we'll need to continue that trend if we were... And we want to keep, you know, growing like we do. And I think the best way to do that is to start building um, a coaster right now. And with five grants, we do not have enough to build one of these nice wooden coasters. But we do have enough to build this wooden rodent thingy coaster. So we'll build this and uh, well, the next coaster that we'll build will probably be a wooden one. However, I kind of do need to choose where we're going to build it now. Because we could build it over here, but I kind of want to, because the river is over here, I kind of want to save this for like, well, you know, or a wooden coaster or a river ride. It's either one of the two. So I'm thinking, and because there's also no real coasters over here anyway, that we're going to put the rodent coaster like right over here. Wait, hold on a second. Have I? Where is, wait. <laughs> Derp, Derpaloo. <laughs> wow, speaking about badness over here, yeah, we might want to hook this up, actually. I mean, that might help in terms of it making some profit, right? I mean, no wonder it hasn't been fixed. That's because the mechanics never could get there. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, all right. So that wasn't a real good show now, was it? <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> Oh, balls. Alright, so, uh, moving on. Um, yeah, we're gonna build the rodent coast over here, but... Um, are we gonna build it like this? Or are we gonna build it like this? Well, since it's a rodent coast, it doesn't really need max station length. I'm also not gonna build it, uh, you know, as a massive coaster, so it's just gonna be... the, well, you know, just short, compact style of coaster that we all know and that we know that works so yeah uh, all right let's see here we need like two styles of space uh, you know, in front of like the station and the path so we'll build that we'll build it like this 
And we do need to hook this up, so we will do that first, just so that we won't block ourselves off later. But this should do. Look, perfect. Not gonna change a thing. <laughs> we'll remove the tree though. It's kind of in the way, you know. Just saying, kind of. All right, good. So um, this is you now all we need to get ourselves a nice coasty going. So we'll go up. What a surprise! Now it, we, I do want this to have the maximum height as possible. Uh, all right. What I also kind of want is for it not to go all the way over here. So we are gonna make a curve around here. Uh, yeah. All right, like this. Fine, fine. And then we'll have a steep drop. And what I do want is um, I want this to have, you know, like this. I think that this is a nice trajectory um, for this coaster. I don't think it will stall over here, though. I do think that the speed on it will be quite low. And right now, it should be just, you know, a business as usual for this coaster. In terms of how we build it with plateaus and all that. And, you know, I'm not going to try and do anything super fancy with it, but we should be able to get a nice coaster out of this. Anything. Um, maybe not like this, though. Really, game. Really, game. Um, <laughs> what are you saying? I can't. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. Fine. I won't go there. I was trying to go through this budge in the track, but it won't let me. So I want to look for some other place here, like this. Oh, but now, of course, we're going to have all these trees and being in the way. So we'll just remove them, because we can. Uh, let's see here. Do it like this. Yes. All right. Cool track design right here for you. And then... Uh, one straight piece. And we'll just go around the tree over here. And right now, I think it would be the perfect moment to drop down to a station height remove the tree and then bam look at that i know this track isn't stellar it's not spectacular but it's just so that we have another coaster in there really um i'm thinking that this will be like a six in the ratings so well you know i mean when i'm not setting the aims all that high i'm not raising the bar all that crazy high but i do think it's at least worth six in the ratings I mean, we've had these of 8 and 9 and whatever else, you know, like crazy high before. Not this time, though. But it will generate money, and that's what counts. Uh, what it will also generate is a vomit. So we'll get, like, an extra handy dude. And we got quite a few handy dudes. And, I mean, if I'm honest, our park is freaking clean compared to other parks we've had. Uh, oh, crap. You are actually... No, you are actually set up wrong. Yeah, <laughs> you need to fix right, not inspect them. Dang it. <laughs> oh, we're actually lucky that we got away with that because we didn't really have any deadly crashes there. Oh man, I shouldn't have said that. Now I'm jinxing it. <laughs> ah, well, not really though. Um, good. So this is... Well, I don't have ratings yet, but what we can do is we can name and shame this. So we'll do that. Um, we are going to call this the leash uh, yeah the leash aromatic I don't know what it, I mean I know it's something like this but you know it's one of these those white fruits white and pink they are and a bit odd you know a bit weird fruits I know uh, it doesn't make any good <laughs> description but that's all right I know the one fruit I'm talking about and that's what counts. And um, we'll have to see though. I think that we're going to go with the white support because of it. And then we're going to have, you know, like a pink track color along with a pinkish thingies. Yeah, mice. <laughs> well, <laughs> they're not mice. They're leashes. Oh, whatever, really. Good. Well, um, this is all set up. Nice. I'm happy with this. Boop, boop, boop. Well, something's breaking down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, but something is definitely breaking down there. 
Anyway, we got some more thrill rides, and I'm actually curious to see, like, how many more of these... Oh, we're still... Wow, we're still getting more thrill rides, though. So we got a 3D cinema, and we got a roto drop. Now, over here, there's not a whole lot that neither is there over here. And since we were really somewhat building over here, I think if we build the cinema on, like, this square here, and we, we sort of have filled this entire area. At least I feel like we have. And then I feel like, you know, I can just leave this be. Because it's done and developed, you know. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, I'll remove a few more of these. Uh, now we should have plenty of space. Look at that. How magnificent. <laughs> a massive globe. <laughs> yeah, can I build this over here? No, I can't. Alright, well that's a shame really, but we'll put this over here like this. Space Raiders, of course. It's not even a real choice now, is it? Put it to five bucks. Yeah, five should do. And we'll open it up. I hook it up with the queue and done. It's so simple this game, but you know, I mean it's of course it's track designing that requires real skill. You know where the real difficulties are. Look at that, perfect setup for repeat guests as well. What else could we want for that? Now, I mean, this ball here, I mean, we need to come up with a proper fruity name for this, because it already looks like a fruit. So, um, we are gonna call this, it needs to be round as well. We got grapefruit, we got orange, what we don't have is apples, I think. Oh yeah, we don't have apples, so how can we name this somewhat apple-like. Well, um, <laughs> we could call this I Cinema. <laughs> there you have it. That, that is... Uh, oh wait, no, 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 it should be the other way around. I Cinema. <laughs> this is totally apple-related, right? <laughs> oh man, I'm so clever. Sometimes. Um, so, if it's apple-related, then it should be white. Uh, no, I mean the mesh should be white. And I'm, oh, most of the times the Apple logo, I think, is like bluish, right? Wow, a blue apple. <laughs> that I totally would not eat that one. Now maybe we should go with uh, a bit more of this. And then a bit more red. So it is somewhat apple related, though. <laughs> if my apple would be colored like this, I would toss it away as well. I mean, maybe it has grown in Fukushima. <laughs> No, I shouldn't make jokes about that. So, um, yeah, we're good. We got the ice cinema, which will lure in even more guests into the park, which is good, of course. Uh, what we need really is we need to, we need to, you know, choose right now because at the moment there's two ways we can go. We could continue on developing over here till we reach the back end over here, or we could move the other way around. To be honest, I think I'm, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stay over here with the park development so yeah now we you know i mean we've been building a few thrill rides so why don't we build like a nice gentle ride right here in this corner we could build a nice maze yeah you know because this corner we could also build a slam down ride but we can build them anywhere i think that this is perfect for a maze if we remove all the trees that is <laughs> even less fruity trees <laughs> yeah, this orchard farm thing is totally not gonna function uh, properly. Right, and we got a roto drop now too, so that's also good. Alright, now a maze, it doesn't really need such a long queue, so I'm thinking of putting the entrance over here, and then the exit over there. And then we'll just build a nice maze to sort of fill it up, you know? Not on a border the path straight away, but like this, look. Um, you know, just to spice the maze design up a little bit, like a so. And then <laughs> we won't hook it up to the exit. <laughs> now we will actually, so like this. Okay, now this is looking like a maze. We'll quickly fill it up. Uh, at least as far as you can quickly fill up a maze, really. I mean, it is one of the more laborious rides to build, if I'm honest. I don't mind though, I mean, if built nice, it looks pretty good, you know, it adds a lot. <laughs> 1.8 excitement rating, that's what it adds. <laughs> I do also lure in guests. I mean, 
Personally, I wouldn't go to a park because it has a maze. I would go to a park because it has amazing coasters. And um, but, you know, this is also more or less an excuse for me to give the wooden rodent coaster that we just built some time to get ratings. Because we haven't checked in on that. And it might be utter crap for all we know. Well, <laughs> I know that it won't be. But it won't be a grand coaster. So, yeah. Just covering myself here. Uh, wait, no, I need to build the path. You know, well, just a simple thing. And since it can't break down and it won't generate any vomit, well, we can just keep this nice and easy. We don't even need to hire extra staff for this, I feel. So that's good. Uh, we're gonna call this. Um, yeah, and you know what? Let's just retire of these fruit names uh, for this maze because I, d I don't know of any more fruits, especially not any fruits that are maze related. So how about we're going to call this, um, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the uh, orchard, the endless orchard, yeah, 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 endless orchard, that's good. Right, that's fitting for a maze. Are we going to keep it hedges, do? I'm thinking that we might want to do something different, like wooden fences. Yeah, I think that looks good. I think that looks even better. Oh, crap. And now, dang it, <laughs> you forgot my name. Foo game. Endless Orchard. It's so amazing, the game won't even accept it. It's like, no, <laughs> maze number one is so much better. Um, Alright, now there is this open area over here that I kind of want to fill up and uh, what better than to use a coaster and with eight grants I feel that we have cash to build a wooden one but before that leash aromatic wow if I wasn't spot on here or what I mean look at that 6.7 and um, well, I was guessing on a six but it's a short and compact track I don't think this has cost us more than two grants so I'll we'll just charge more for this because we can so that we really need the cash now. All right, so we got enough cash. Let's build a wooden roller coaster. Uh, oh, and I think that no, we still have thrill rides coming up. How? Which one, though? I'm wondering. We got a roto drop. We need a motion box. Yeah, that's the only one I can think of, uh, if I'm looking at the list here. Oh, Alright, we'll wait for that. But if, Once we got the motion box, then we should start researching gentle rides. Because honestly, we've built like the majority really. This is crap, I'm not gonna build... Well, actually, I could build it, because the park is so nice and flat. Then again, it will, it will only be crap, it will take up lots of space and it will be utter worthless. So we're not going to build it, but that does mean that we kind of have run out of gentle rides to build. So that's the next thing that we're going to research. But first, this. Well, actually, maybe this, because this has more options, and I don't think that we're going to build like two of these. Because like after this wooden coaster, this is really high on the wish list, a steel one. So yeah, I think that this is like the, you know, we're going to build this one. Because it's better anyway, so. And it's going to be built over here. This is already decided. I had this spot reserved for it already. Look at that. Perfect, if you ask me. So we'll go up. Look at that, right alongside the path over there. How much more of, you know, nice park planning can you want? Not much, <laughs> at least I don't. So, and then we'll have it curve about over here to this direction. And then we'll go up once more. And I think that, you know, this is pretty decent height 24. Because I'm also thinking of having this go underground. Excuse me, like over here or somewhere. But we're not there yet. So let's first of all, let's just build this and see where this gets us, right? I mean, this is a nice drop, if anything, so. Ooh. On right photo section, yes. Alright, so we... <laughs> wow, <laughs> I am uh, removing, like, all the fountains that I have placed. <laughs> so, alright, um, I guess so. I guess they're in the way then, huh? <laughs> wow. Anyway, we got this special track piece in there now. And uh, we will have another big drop, because we can. Okay, maybe not like that. Yeah, we'll have this be a little bit more moderate drop then, I guess. We'll have it 
curve towards the tower somewhat. And what's in the way now? Three, you say, huh? Wow, alright, I guess so. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I, 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 well, you know, I'm not the one to say that. If the game says the trees are in the way, <laughs> then I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, now, is that another tree? Oh, that's the right entrance, actually. Okay, so that sucks. But we're going around the tower, so that's a cool feature. Uh, I kind of want to have it go over there too, so why don't we see that we get there. Alright, uh, height 20. We, we, we won't have crazy amounts of speed when we get to this height. Because this coaster does lose a lot of it, so... Oh. Since we are at slow speed uh, over here, we can get away with an S-Band, I feel. And then we'll have another big drop in there. Because we can, you know, this, this coaster needs drops. So, I'll go up a bit as well over here. And then we'll helix down small. And then come out with a mellow curve like this. I have a bit of a drop. Oh, no, never mind. There's the Cooker Mansion. So we'll have a bit of a drop down over here. Look, there is another coaster track as well here. Which I think, if we do it right, yeah, right now we're going below it. That's good. Now, we, I'm also looking at my cache, and I think the whole plan for an underground part, I think we're gonna have to, you know, well, delay that for some other coaster. Once we got a bit more cash, because... Well, actually, I mean, it is kind of, you know, how I wanted to get back to the station, in all honesty. Well, alright, we'll, we'll figure something out. I'm pretty sure that I can manage. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, now we really need to see this back to the station. So I need a helix down small. And... Yeah, I'm way too high at the moment. Dang it. Um, what are we going to do about it? Well, actually, it's rather easy what we're going to do about it. Um, what I need is just a bit more of a wider curve over here. We'll drop down some height and a nice gentle drop. It is down small. Now, what, why is that not working? It's a tree in the way, alright? Trees can be removed quite easily. I know that. I'm the expert at it. <laughs> so, yeah, alright. Now, this is... I mean, it's far from ideal, I'll have to admit. But it will get the job done. So, we'll break this to, like, speed 28. I'll have an... Yeah, an Aspen to the other side. And... This... Ah, oh, balls. We're just one tile off here. Uh, I can't have that really, so... Well, what if... Yeah, I need this to be just a regular curve like that. And right now, if we just drop it... Oh, that actually works. Alright, nice. Good, and now if I do a helix down small, and then drop down to height 6. And yeah, with an s band right now, then we're good. Look, now all of a sudden everything will fit, though <laughs> we are going to insert brakes here. Look, I knew it wasn't all that hard, really. Look, and we already passed our objective. We got 1,100 guests in the park in April year two. That's pretty decent, actually. Quite proud of that, if I'm honest. Nice, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, if I put the exit over here, yeah, that's not going to work. But over here, it will work. And then we'll put the entrance over here so I can at least fiddle in some decent queue size. And while I do that, you and check out the test ride for me, right, William? Oh, actually, um, no, let's not do that right now. Because we only got two trains. And if I go with 11, then we'll have three. So, go and check it out now. While I hook things up. Yeah, with three trains, that's a lot better. You know, that's a lot more guest throughput, and that's what it's all about. Monies! <laughs> I don't care about ratings, well, I do. But it's the monies that is important, too. Alright. Path, exit path. Come on, don't be so fiddly now, game. Yeah, that's better. 
All right, I think that hooks it up to... Wow, look at that. Look at the speed at which it goes through this S-band. That is totally not uh, racking up any excessive Gs at all now. That's pretty, pretty good, actually. Quite like that. Seems, though, that it does have quite re reasonable speeds. Now, this, again, it won't be an 8 in the ratings. But it will be, like, 6 or something. Because it does have quite a... Well, quite a few decent drops so we should get my estimate of this I think we should be able to get six and a half maybe even a seven if we're lucky so oh, ratings <laughs> please now all right um, you know what I mean oh wow look whoa <laughs> I mean I said six and a half maybe a seven and I was like well one point off and uh, for the better really look at that 7.6 that is a freaking decent coaster if you ask me wow that's nice man all right so now this is i mean if we turn on the supports this is quite a prominent coaster in the park if anything really i mean you know with all the supports and all that and if you zoom out look it's quite well you know picture determining yeah <laughs> if that's even a thing but you know what I mean it takes up a lot of the space over here and it really is an you know an eye attractor so we need to color this properly and we need to get the right fruity thing for it how about it if we call this um, the yeah I'm thinking about the um, I don't know what it's called in English but yeah, you know what? We're gonna call this the G passion fruit. Um, but passion fruit. I mean, that's a thing in my language. <laughs> I don't know if it is in English, but that doesn't matter. G passion. That's what it's all about. And how much passion does this coaster have for G's? Three and a half. Oh, pretty, pretty good passion. Pretty strong one for G's. So that's good. Now then, we need to color it for no crap that's naming we need to color it accordingly and these white supports are definitely a no-no what we could do though is we could oh no oh no 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 now i'm thinking that we might want to go with these or these and then we will have like a bright yellow track and maybe with like a red Lining, this doesn't look bad actually. I mean, if I'm honest, how does a black lining look though? It actually looks more like gray, like the supports. So I'm not, I'm not gonna go with that. This looks damn sexy, if you ask me. Not really related to a, a passion fruit because it has totally different colors. Well, that's all right though. I mean, otherwise we would end up with like more yellow and orange and wow. Well, maybe I could try and see how this looks though. And if we zoom out, no, I'm not liking it. I actually like this gray better, you know. I think it blends in better. Yeah, and how about these? No, 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 no. We're going to go with the gray. It's decided. The trains, though, we can have those be a little bit more passion fruity related. Let me make it like this. Yeah, that <laughs> looks kind of bland, right? Really. Usually, I have the trains be in well sharp contrast to the rest of the track. Not this time, though. And the good thing is, you know, this park at the moment is so insanely profitable that. Um, you know, we have five grants, and we just built a nice coaster, so that's good. Now, we are going to just hire two mechanics, one loose one, and another one who's going to in or fix these rides only, really. Yeah, good. And it's also pretty nice that the exit is reasonably close to, like, the back end of the station. So if it does have a station brake failure, then the mechanic will be there in no time. Now, I also feel like we could use, you know, a couple of those, <laughs> you know, those things. <laughs> now they are staff, and they have a name. 
but yeah. Oh, and you know, speaking about names, how about we name this entertainer Spartacus? Yeah, this is Fruit Farm. <laughs> and then he kicks a guest into the water. <laughs> uh, oh, crap. I actually see that I kind of deleted a path over there. Or a tile of path. Yeah, alright, so that should fix that. Wow, <laughs> I didn't even notice it. Anyway, so we're in April year 2 and we got 1200 guests uh, almost. That means that we already have officially, you know, met the objectives. All that we're doing really now is just overshooting them. And damn, <laughs> I mean, handy dude, what are you doing? <laughs> You're neglecting your job. I should lower your wages really. But um, yeah, things are going pretty well in this park and where I thought at first that it would be really, really challenging, turns out to be that it's quite an easy park. So uh, join me next time when we will, you know, fill up the complete park most likely before we actually finish it. So uh, see you then.